So, well, regarding the, the, the um, financial planners and all councils uh, on financial side, they have to be very aware that we have a lot of scams around the world, and especially what we call the Ponzi schemes, which was revealed all over the world by Mr. Madaf. And uh, they are still continuing, and uh, many people are offering unusual returns. I mean, unusual returns must be uh, maybe very high sometime, but nowadays they are more maybe low uh, or as low as 5%, but 5% without risk is nowadays impossible. Though they, uh, though <coughs> they, they should be very careful on the offer on in terms of um, returns first. And uh, they should check if the banking, the banks or uh, financial institution are allowed on, uh, in the country to do business or not. And if they don't, then they can, in, uh, they can um, make their clients go into, in a scam, uh, into a scam and lose all their money. And the, uh, the loss due to, uh, to this mechanism are huge. And we, we, we are counting them in uh, thousands of millions a year. Are these Ponzi schemes and pyramid schemes occurring more or less? Uh, uh, before, uh, after the financial economic crisis? Mm -hmm. And what are the key differences that you pointed out, if you can point out the key differences between the two? So, well, in terms of frequency, uh, the Ponte schemes were very, very active in, in France and in Europe between uh, 1990 and, 19 and 2003. Uh, and after it went a bit down because uh, because it was overheaded by uh, cyber crime, mm -hmm. identity theft, uh, phishing, farming, and so on and so on. So we've got less, but we still have a lot in the financial sector trying to 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 to, to offer uh, high yield investment programs to investors, uh, which are always deceptive. So the main difference between the Ponzi scheme and the pyramid scheme is simple. The Ponzi uh, this scheme is based on the reactivity of, of the victim by, its, uh, by himself. If the victim is persuaded that the system or the, 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 the returns are real, then he will go and tell and um, yes and and tell the, his family members and friends that he's got the good product with a very big return, and then he will um, he will attract new victims in favor of the swindler. Um, on the opposite side, the pyramid scheme is something very strict and hierarchical, so. When you invest, you have to buy the right of doing something. And the thing you have to do is to find two new members, which each will pay 5,000 uh, bucks, for example, so 5,000 euro, dollar, or whatever the money. And uh, when they perform this contract, then they are to supervise the two new one to perform their own contract, and you've got four level. And if uh, the, the, the first investor uh, reached the, the fourth level, he's supposed to go back with 40,000 euro, so 800%, which is a, a good deal. But in fact, uh, well, the pyramid collapsed, and nobody uh, sees money. So some of them will see some money but they're just taking the money of the other. There is no financial system or financial procedure. It's just getting the money from the other, and if we go at the top, we get the money. But the, the worst in this system are the organizer of pyramid schemes because they don't put a penny in the scheme, and each time one person perform, he gets 30,000 bucks for himself. Guy, what is the key essential tool that you received from this year's CIFA conference to maybe do things a little bit differently, a little bit more efficient, or a little bit better at home? Well, I think in this uh, CIFA conference and former conference, one thing which uh, 
which is over the lot is uh, some, some form of ethics. And we have to be more careful of, wha of what we are doing and just to analyze our own business to be sure not to do wrong.